Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be installing some G-Skill Trident Z CK RGB memory modules in a X870E ASRock Nova Wi-Fi motherboard, which is a motherboard that does not support CU DIMM. So we're going to see what happens when you install clock driver based DIMMs of DDR5 in a motherboard that doesn't have support for it and see what happens just for science. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's power it up and see what happens. So code 15. Now, ideally what's supposed to happen, what should happen here is, I don't know why the camera is so dark, but what should happen is it should, it should actually boot up in bypass mode. So it it's, looks like it's doing memory training, which is a good sign. And okay, so it looks like the GPU is initialized. And it's probably going to post and be able to go into Windows, but I wonder what speed it's going to actually try to run at. Okay, so it did boot up, but you can see it's stalled here because it's waiting for the user to read this little blue box that came up. So it says the platform configuration includes clocked unbuffered memory modules. The installed processor does not support the operation of the modules at the data rate in JEDEX standard mode. The module may be functional in this system, configuring the QDIM to bypass mode and lowering the data rate. So why to continue with this configuration? Please accept the bypass operation. No, to decline this mode, the system will shut down. Note that interoperability of the mode. So basically, you have to press yes, so why? And it looks like it's going to Windows. Okay, so it ran Windows, and all I did was let it go to Windows after pressing yes on the keyboard for that, to acknowledge that bypass mode. And you guys can see all 48 gigabytes, both sticks, they came up, and they're running at 6,400 mega transfers. Those are the timings that ASRock set which I believe are the same settings from the 96 gigabyte kit that we were using previously. So I'm wondering if they just basically copy that over or if they selected this profile. The only way to know for sure is to go into the BIOS and take a look at what it actually did. So let's see if we can get into the BIOS now. Okay, so I'm in the BIOS like normal and you guys can see here, DDR5, 6400, 24 gig DIMMs running at 6400 mega transfers. If we go over to the OC tweaker section, if we look in here, it looks like all it did, it's hard for me to tell, but it looks like all it did was it just kept the same profile that I had loaded previously. But what's interesting here is ASRock shows you the JDEC profile. Unlike all the other motherboard manufacturers, they show the JDEC 6400CL52 profile. And then they have this XMP1. This is the XMP profile that the CKD QDIM from G-Skill comes with. And then the, it also includes a what I like to call a four-stick configuration, if you want to run four of these. A 6400 profile, which we've been running on the previous video that we did for four sticks of QDIM. But it's cool that it shows this. So technically we can attempt to load this and test stability, but I just wanted to make this video. The purpose of this video was to show you guys that if you have CU DIMMs and you install them in say an X870E motherboard with a Zen 5 processor, like a 9800X3D for example, you can use them and you can still try to use them, try to load the XMP profile and see if you can run it with stability. The good news is that if you're buying these as kind of a future-proof thing, because most likely going forward, newer platforms will support this technology from both AMD and Intel. In fact, Intel, if you guys haven't seen the video that we did previously, already has support for this feature, the QDIM feature, with their Arrow Lake processors. This is good news. We'll probably do a couple of other tests like this to see what other platforms I'm curious to know if like Z790, for example, supports this memory or older X670E or maybe Zen 4, like Ryzen 7000 CPUs, if they would work with this as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. CUDIM is a new technology for DDR5, but I think it's going to kind of open the door 
to hopefully allow higher density at higher speeds or just really high speeds for memory bandwidth. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.